sorry about that I had to put you on hold very quickly not hold on pause because I was having a I, I could feel coming a sneezing and coughing attack combined in the one not nice oh dear but I don't think there's any particular season in the year that I'm not allergic so I, I think I seem to suffer with this all the year round lovely anyway we're here to learn how to reborn dolls, not talk about me. Blend it. Now, the reason why we do here um, is just to add that bit more realism. Uh, sometimes babies wear clothes that perhaps after moving around in them for a while have become a little bit too tight for them, maybe. And um, it just creates that blush look on the top of the leaf. It looks quite effective actually. So we've done the um, little fat rolls and behind the knee, on the knee, right? And now we're going to do the heel and behind the heel. We can put a little bit over the ankle bone if we want to. And the flex point, which is right here. Flex meaning that the little leg has been opening and shutting a lot. Meaning this motion, which causes um, uh, the um, blood to be a little bit more obvious there. Just, um, ribbon, oh, ribbon. Blend in. Oops. Nearly fell. Blend in. And <clears throat> then we do. I hope I'm still in view. The instep. And just under the little toes. And the fatty bits here. And the little heel. Just make sure that these are all covered. And then. Blend. Beautiful. Just lovely little baby toes. Or feet, actually. So that's how it should look at this stage. Oh, I just didn't blend here properly. Let's see. So we're going to turn this around now. Another area here that got away. Or I put my finger on it. Or something. Do the toes on the on the front part as well. I think I may even use this colour as my nail colour, but we're going to do more detailed work on the nails later. So, the base, yeah, the base colour. Okay, let's get rid of this build up here. Where's that little brush I had? That's a good job. Get rid of all that. That's there. And that's it for <coughs> the leg. The other leg will be done the same way as well. So I'm going to go up here and start drawing. Um, the hand will be elbow in the area here, which opens and shuts. Up the top for the same reason as what was on top of the, why it was blushed on top of the leg as well. Blending. Okay. Moving along to the wrist, which also will be done for the same reasons. 
which is called the flex point. Blend that in. Um, the fingers, but because they're clutched, closed, we're not doing them all the way. We're going to do them only part of the way. Along the knuckles, if you do that with your own knuckles, you can see how they lighten up. They will remain lightened up, so we're not going to put any lush on them at all. Down the bottom, again, see right there? It's the same thing. Take my word for it. I'm not going to twist my arm around so I'll break it for you to see. I'm telling you, it is that. So you have to take my word for it. Uh, dear. So, okay. And I'll just do the little bottom part here. Just like that. A little bit here. So I'm pretty subtle with this, with the, um, uh, what do you call it? With the blushing. Okay. There we go. It's done. Now if the uh, hand was open, then it would just be straight all the fingers would be just straight pink. Now, <clears throat> for our little madam to come and get her uh, her blushing. Let's take the excess off. And we go just straight on top of what we've already done. And then come along with this and blush. I mean, blend. See how they're not as noticeable now? And we'll just blush here. Little chin. No need to load up the <coughs> paintbrush yet. There. Just there. And there you are. All the work that you've done looks just as if it's under the skin. And that's exactly what you want. Like it's just under the skin. And that's what we want. Now for the ears, we're just going to do a blush layer. I don't know if I've got... But we've got to come and do the creases next, so I'll leave that part there and we can do it with the crease colour which will indicate depth or make it illusion of depth. <clears throat> what have I done? Okay. That's one ear done. And we're coming back to do the, the rest. Where am I getting all this paint from? That's there, like that. And behind. Okay. Little side of the nostrils. So like that. On top of the brow. Little blushing there. Now if you wanted a little 
still bite. You can put them just about anywhere, but generally I do it sort of coming up and coming out to the bit there like that. But I wouldn't leave it at just that. I would pick up some of that red that we did before and blend it in as well. And then just get that and blend it in with the sponge. So that would be your stalk bite. Or well, sometimes I have it on the back of the neck or whatever. But that's the extent of what I would do. And I certainly wouldn't do it the way I think it was shown in pictures or somewhere. And I thought, oh no, that looks like a wound. Oh, it might have been on one of the ones I posted on the group. Now, she will have hair, but it's nice to have some blushing sort of coming through. Um, just like that. A bit of blushing on the head and again you don't have to go overboard with it just you know that's plentiful uh we're not done yet because we still have to do creases um but i just wanted you to have a look at what i mean by the stay, stay there where are you going Just wanted to see what I meant by detailing, which looks natural. Doesn't look like it's been detailed and overdone and all this sort of thing. And like I said, we're not done yet. Let's talk by it. I just love the rashy look. And the capillaries and even on the little nose, see the little... Yeah, it's cute. Okay.